Well, it's May 3rd, 2011. The Canadian election is over. I deliberately avoided making any of these comments during the election because I would have had to announce that it was approved of by the official agent of the party, and these are my concepts and ideas, and I don't ask approval, and I don't expect anybody to give any, but I'd like to share with you some thoughts about the futility of the whole election, in a sense. It was fought without any regard to real issues. What was the issue in the election? Competence? Well, the largest debt in Canadian history has been added under the so-called Conservatives, the deficit financing that each year accumulates more and more government spending and increases the size of government has not been reduced under the Conservative Government of Canada. And it is obvious that future generations will have to pay for the enormous amount of public spending that is not being paid for by tax dollars today. Which means, if you spend without taxing, you will eventually have to tax without spending. And that's the destiny of those who will come after, the huge deficit that will be left for our children and grandchildren to pay for the bad judgments and the wasteful spending of this generation. The result, of course, in the long run, is that short-term gain is accomplished for politicians with long-term pain for future generations. Uh, if you understand what the healthcare system is all about today, you'll realize that it cannot be sustainable, that the level of cost is not capable of being paid by the tax revenues and the premiums that are minor, at least in British Columbia, compared to the cost. And the result in the long run is that we are going to lose the capacity to take care of the health of ourselves. And this generation, mine I guess, is as of now getting much closer to the point where medical expenses increase. And the population that is available to pay the taxes, to pay for those hospitals, are simply not available because our population, in terms of the uh, reproduction of people from already resident citizens of Canada has decreased over time in my generation. So we have in fact tried to substitute with immigration what we didn't accomplish with reproduction. Canada as a result is a failing uh, economic and political system. And it cannot be redeemed by pretending that these problems don't exist. Canada is in effect in terms of pensions and health care and all the unfunded liabilities of government bankrupt and Mr. Harper will be like the captain of the Titanic responsible for massive cuts which of course he would never mention before the election so it's all very well and clever to become prime minister by not telling the whole truth but it will not accomplish in the long run anything in the nature of improvement or stability and Western Canada has all the resources available and necessary to sustain the population, to prepare for the future, and to pay for health care and pensions for all Western Canadians. Canada can never do this. Canada has created this enormous debt-ridden monster, the federal government. And there's only one way out in the long run, and that's independence. So, although our candidates didn't do that well, I want to thank them for the valiant effort in a what in effect was a hopeless cause. You cannot lie the way the others do. And don't even try. Don't try to be the best liar in the, on the platform. Just tell the truth and time will prove you right. So we will say again, as we've said before, free the West.